Let's try our first exercise. By now I hope you have some research, and if you don't, that's okay, because with this exercise, I'm only using one image. Now the reason I'm only using one image is to show you how effective collage can be with repetition and scale. A legendary artist to look into is MC Escher. He often used both repetition and scale in his artwork, so you may want to Google his name for some inspiration. Now to collage for this exercise, all you'll need is some paper, you'll need some figures, whether you got them from my website or from a magazine, you'll also need some glue and some scissors, and you'll need some collaging material, which can be just about anything, but we'll discuss that later. For now, just use one image from your research. I've chosen this image of a moth for my research. The reason I chose it is because I really like the color scheme, I like the silhouette of the moth itself, I like the edge of the wings, and this peculiar, peculiar uh, antenna that it has. Now let's begin. Okay, I'm going to start with a figure. Now this figure I actually cut out of a magazine. Now I chose it because really I just like her posture and her pose. Coincidentally, her outfit matches my moth really well, as you can see here. Now I also took the image of my moth and I recreated it and printed several of them out at a lot of different scales you can see here. I cut those images out, segments, and the full image of the moth. And I can use these to collage over this image. Now I just want to begin to take pieces and cut pieces and work it over the image. Now I don't have to use the same exact silhouette. I can create new silhouettes as well. Perhaps like a skirt. And just be really free with it. There's no mistakes and you're not designing a final outfit. You're just trying to be inspired. Let's just take some glue and paste it on. Perhaps I'm gonna maybe add a little glue here and find an image here. Up there. Sometimes I find it's easier just to cut out a bunch of pieces and just see what, what develops from it. This is a nice little piece right here. I can almost imagine like a belt some sort. Just gonna glue that there. But basically, that's how you collage. Now again, we're only using one medium and one image for this. You can even add a little humor. I'll add a piece of antenna. Let's have a look at some collages that I've already done. I use the figures from my website to do these collages. In this one, you can see that I used a large piece of the moth wing to create an asymmetrical dress. In the leggings, I used a zoomed in portion of the wing and it created a really nice pixel print. Now, if you look at this collage, you'll see that there are a lot of imperfections. Well, or so you think. It is these imperfections that make it interesting, actually. These same imperfections can inspire really unique designs. Now remember, collage doesn't have to be perfect. In this example, I used smaller images of the moth for the collage. It created a very layered look. And you can see that I even used a tiny piece of the wing for a headpiece. I used a portion of the wing also to create this belt. This is one of my favorite collages. I can almost see this as like a sleeveless trench coat even for spring or summer.
Now here are two more collages, which are very simple. Like this one only has two pieces. Notice that my figures are smaller. You don't always have to change the scale of the image that you're collaging with. You can change the scale of your figure too. It just works the same way. So there you have it. There's basically a mini collection that, you, I, that I created using just the image of one moth. 